Hi there, Mr. Rutzard here, uh, back again, and uh, we're looking at balancing chemical equations today. Now, what you have to know is there's um, there's a law now that basically tells us that the amount of mass that goes into a chemical reaction will be equal to the amount of mass that comes out of a chemical reaction. It's called the law of conservation of mass, and we can't create or destroy any matter. So we're going to jump right in. So the first one we're going to look at is if we have hydrogen gas okay, plus oxygen gas and we remember that that is diatomic okay both of those are diatomic okay that means uh, it's going to yield water okay and water is going to be a liquid uh, so when we balance these what do I mean by that well, we have to have the same number of atoms going into a reaction as we do coming out of the reaction. Um, so if I look at uh, the amount of mass that these have, uh, when you look on your periodic table, you're going to notice that hydrogen has an atomic mass number of 1.01 grams per mole. Okay. And don't worry about the unit right now. We'll worry about that a little bit later on. But this tells me that I have two of those. So that means that I have another one, 1.01. 1 .01. Uh, gives me a total mass of 2.02. .02. When I go over to oxygen here, it tells me that oxygen has on the periodic table an atomic mass of 19, or sorry, 16 grams per mole. And I have two of those, so I have another one, 16 gives me a total of 32.00 which on this side of the equation of our uh, reactants gives me a total mass of 34.02 and again grams per mole okay and we'll worry about that later on now if I add up on this side what I have I have two hydrogens okay and the hydrogens again we've added those up before two of them are going to be 2.02 .02 grams per mole and I have only one oxygen which gives me 16.00 grams per mole which gives me a total of 18.02 grams per mole well we have a huge difference here uh, of 34 grams going in and only 18 coming out so how can that be well that's not actually really what happens uh, what we need to do is balance the amount of um, material that goes in with the amount of material that comes out. So how do we go about doing that? Well, I'm just going to clear my screen and rewrite that equation. So hydrogen plus oxygen yields water. Now what I need to do is start on the left hand side of my equation and balance this. So if I look on this side I have two moles okay uh, or sorry one mole of hydrogen gas and don't worry about what a mole is right now it's Avogadro's number we're going to cover that a little bit later on but just think of it as a chunk of something okay or a large piece of something it's actually a large number of, of atoms of this uh, but we'll worry about that a little bit later on so here I have two on this side and I have two on this side so my hydrogens are balanced so I'm not going to write a coefficient here, but I am allowed uh, to write coefficients in front of these without altering the uh, chemical makeup of the materials that we're working with. So now I have oxygen. I have two atoms of oxygen here, and I only have one on this side. So I can't write a two here. That would be against the rules because it's no longer water now. H2O2 isn't water. So I'm not allowed to do that. What I am allowed to do though is write a coefficient of 2 here in front of the water. So now my oxygens are balanced. I have two oxygens, but I have 2 times 2 hydrogens, which gives me 4 hydrogens. So I have to go over to this side and write a coefficient over here. So 2 hydrogens, 2 moles of hydrogen gas, 1 mole of oxygen gas will yield 2 moles of water. That's how we balance that chemical equation. Um, I'll worry about the states later on in these. Okay, let's go into another example of this. So if we look at a decomposition reaction, carbon dioxide 
breaks down into its components of carbon and oxygen. So let's check and see if this is balanced because sometimes they are. Here I have one carbon and one carbon on this side. I have, so I can write that down here if I want, I have one carbon on this side, I have one carbon. On this side I have two oxygens, oxygen I have two of those, and on this side oxygen I have two of those. So I don't have to touch this. Okay, this one's already been balanced for us. Uh, if there is nothing written in front, I consider that to be a one. Okay, so I don't have to write, I never write a coefficient of one in front of these. Okay, and the coefficient multiplies by all of these, and you'll see that in some of the other examples that we look at. So the next one, I'm going to do a combustion reaction. And the one that I showed you before was methane combusting. So CH4, and I'm not going to write in the states right now. We'll worry about the states later on. Okay, plus oxygen yields. And again, in our, um, in our combustion reactions, we always have the same thing, carbon dioxide and water. So let's start balancing. I always, there's really no formula to doing these. I just start, I just like to look at them from left to right. So carbons, I have one carbon here. I look across and I have one carbon on the other side. So my carbons are balanced. Let's move to the next one. Uh, and w another thing I like to do is draw a little area here for my coefficients. Okay, if I leave them blank, I just know that there's a one there. So let's go across. So carbon we said was already balanced. Hydrogen, there are four here. Go across and there are two here. So what I can do is write a two. Okay, I'm gonna write a two. I may end up erasing that later on or adjusting that number. I'm not worried about it. Just balance one piece at a time. So now my hydrogens are balanced. So now I need to look at my oxygens. Over on this side, I have two oxygens right here. I have two here and then I have another one separated over here, but I've already written a two. So that means that I have two oxygens here plus another two oxygens here. This two multiplies over here. So that gives me a total of four oxygens on this side. So what do I need to do? Well, I'm lucky I have a number here where if I multiply this two or this O2 by two, I also have four oxygens. So let's go back through and just check. So I have my carbons, I have one on this side, carbon, I have one on this side. Hydrogen, I have four on this side. Hydrogen, I have four on this side. Oxygen, I have a total of four, and oxygen, I've already written it down, written it down over here, that I have four over on this side. So this is chemically balanced, it's already balanced, um, which is nice. Very simple, easy to do, it just takes a little bit of time. And they do, um, I will have a video just on balancing uh, hydrocarbon combustions because they tend to be the ones that cause, um, at least my students, uh, the most difficulty. So take a look uh, later on for that video.